is brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to KSL Golf. Glad to have you aboard. We're at Hobble Creek in Springville this weekend. It's the Sunny Braun Art City Amateur. Now, this is one of the favorite tournaments for amateurs here in Utah, and you can see why this place is absolutely gorgeous spot to play some golf. Preston Alder, the former BYU Cougar, is your defending champ. However, he will not be back to defend this title as he has since turned professional. All right, let's get rolling with our UNA Golf Tip of the Week. Now, we all have different swings. We come over the top, we come inside, we come outside, steep, shallow uh, uh, attack. But it doesn't matter what kind of swing you have. One of the key ingredients to help make up for some of those deficiencies, tempo and rhythm. But how do you have good tempo and rhythm in your golf swing? Well, here's Mark Wetzel to show you how. All right, let's talk about tempo. Tempo is so underrated. It's something that we have to have. In fact, a lot of golf professionals, what I love about tempo is they purposely make sure that they leave for the golf course two hours before their tee time. And they take their time, they drive the speed limit, they tie their shoes slow, they eat their breakfast slow, because they wanna have that exact same tempo and rhythm as they get on the golf course, rather than us, showing up right when our tee time is, grabbing a hot dog on the first tee, tying our shoe in the middle of the fairway of number one, and all that does is create chaos. So when you talk about tempo, let's talk about making sure that you're in that right frame of mind when you arrive at the golf course. Take a little bit more time. Take some added time on the driving range before your tee off. And when you get on the first tee, do a couple things to make sure that your tempo is in check. And the one thing that I love to do is I like taking two wedges, and before I do anything, I put them together, and I just swing nice and slow, and I'm stretching out. So I get back, I'll pause at the top, I'll finish, I'll stretch, I'll make sure I have a full weight transfer. I'm really focusing on my, for a right-handed player, my left shoulder and my left hip, rotating all the way around, and really focusing on a nice stretch. And then once I have that, and I pick up my, my, my driving iron or my three wood or my driver and I'm ready to tee off, I'm then going to try to mimic what I just did with two clubs. It's gonna feel a lot lighter because of the drill that I just did with the two clubs. And so then I can stand up and realize that, wow, I don't have to be so fast in getting what I'm, the results that I'm trying to get. And that is, when I'm standing up with a three wood or a driver, Everybody likes to go back as fast as they can. But if I can have that same feeling of those two club drill and the weight, what's gonna happen is it's gonna feel a heck of a lot lighter. So then it's gonna focus and have your body and your muscle memory to be a lot more relaxed and a lot slower. And that's what you wanna do, you wanna slow it down. The whole point of tempo is making sure that your upper body is taking that club back, meaning your left shoulder for right-handed player works underneath your chin. You're getting your weight to your back foot. And then on the downswing, your left hip is rotating through. So when it comes to tempo, focus on having that relaxed atmosphere when you drive to the golf course. Always warm up with two wedges in your hands and you're gonna be amazed at how light that club is. And then more importantly, when you have that driver or three wood in your hand, really try to focus on making sure that the upper body is sl slowly but surely taking that club back. Final drill that I wanna give you that's really gonna help with your tempo is place a golf club right behind your driver or three wood and focus on pushing it back out of the way. The reason why that's a really important drill is it isolates your shoulder muscles and it helps you to drag that club back which creates that nice rhythm and tempo. Because the more you have that rhythm on your takeaway, the better and the better chance you're gonna have that rhythm on the follow through. Try all these tips, I guarantee it'll work. Hey, don't forget about our KSL Golf Day presented by Smith's every Wednesday at the ranches at Eagle Mountain. Great golf at a great price for a great cause. Every Wednesday at three o'clock at the ranches at Eagle Mountain, it's only $12 for nine holes in a cart and $10 of every green fee will go to Primary Children's Hospital. Tea times begin at 3 at the ranches. Call the Ranches Pro Shop to sign up. Well, this week, of course, it was the Utah State Amateur held at Oak Ridge Country Club. 
The 36-hole championship match on Saturday, Ute golfer Kyler Dunkel, a senior at Utah, originally from Colorado, and 15-year-old Preston Summerhays. His uncle Daniel won the first of his two state amp trophies at Oak Ridge 18 years ago. And there's Preston's dad, Boy, the coach for Tony Finau. He was at the U.S. Open all week with Tony, but he flew home on Friday night to watch his son play in the championship match. 31st hole, the par 3 13th, Summerhays on the tee. And this thing is tight. Six feet away, Dunkel conceded the birdie. So Summerhays now a two-hole lead with five to play. Next hole, Summerhays, second shot on the par four 14th. Again, he knocks it stiff. Preston steps up and drops in his second straight birdie to go up three holes with four to play. But Dunkel comes right back on the next hole, par three 15th. This for birdie. And Kyler Dunkel cuts the lead to two with three to play. Next hole, the 34th, par 5, 16th, Summerhays third shot. That will roll about eight feet past, so he'll have that for birdie. So Dunkel has a 15-footer for birdie to put the pressure on, and it comes up just short. So here it is, Summerhays for birdie to win the championship. <laughs> Preston Summerhays wins the Utah State Amateur three and two over Kyler Dunkel. And at the age of 15, Preston becomes the youngest champion in the history of the Utah State Am. It means everything. Uh, I've wanted to win this tournament for the last three years, so it means a lot to win. Both uh, Tony and Daniel were bringing it up to this year. It was his last chance to be the youngest, and he delivered, and I gotta hand it to him. I mean, when, when someone wants to do something, they're able to pull it off, it's pretty cool. And I think one thing that's cool is he had a heartbreaking loss. Uh, in the state junior am to a great player, Cole Ponich, and he just got over it. Just knew he was playing good and came here and, and did something that was one that it was definitely the coolest thing I've seen in my golf career. That was the goal to be the youngest ever to win. So it means it means a ton. Well, now it's time to try to give away some money in the Siegfried and Jensen putt for cash each week. One person will have a 50-foot putt. If it goes in, they win $5,000. Dale Schroeder, you're our putter today. $5,000 on the line. What would you do with that money if you want it? I'm not going to get a set of clubs because I'm going to win those in your huge contest. Oh, in the grand prize yeah. drawing. Well, there you go. I'll get an air conditioner. All right, now you've been practicing and you made some today, right? Yeah, yeah. You made one and quit, right? Made one and quit. And I figured. You didn't waste it, did you? No. Now you've been a lucky guy in the past, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You've won things. Won a boat motor and trailer in Minnesota. Just by entering? Yeah. Okay. Don't, didn't have to do anything. All right. And then I want a canoe another time. Not doing anything? Not doing anything. Well, you got to do something with our yeah, contest. Well, this is better. You nervous? No. Okay. You will be. Dale, you got your gallery here, your daughter and your granddaughter, so no pressure. Make it $5,000, will you? Here we go. Is that enough speed? Come on, come on. Oh, you had the line, Dale. Dale, you left it 17 feet short. So we're gonna make a deal. We'll give you that putt for $100 a foot. That's $1,700. Or you can go back and do another 50 footer for half price, $2,500. What would you like to do? I think I'll do this one. This one for $1,700? That's right. Okay, make it now. Don't leave it short. Oh, started right. If you'd have hit it that hard the first time, it'd have got close to the hole, right, Dale? All right, we still love Grandpa, right? Love yeah, he's still awesome. Dale, good luck trying to find that air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'd like a chance to putt for $5,000, go into any of the Smith's Marketplace stores along the Wasatch Front and check out the banner with the ugly dude and enter and you could be the one to putt for cash. And just a reminder to enter our grand prize. We'll have a drawing in August. And you know, when I say grand, I mean it is mucho grande. Free unlimited golf for all of next year at the ranches in Eagle Mountain, Coral Canyon, Sky Mountain, or Falcon Ridge in Mesquite. And we're also giving away a set of Cleveland Launcher CBX irons. Just go into any of the five you want to golf stores from Riverdale to St. George to enter. Time to take a break. When we come back, we'll find out what our forecast will be for our golf game next week. That's when KSL Golf, presented by Siegfried & Jensen, 
comes back to Hobble Creek in Springville. Well, the week is looking great for us. If you want to get out and play, the wind's finally calming down. Uh, temperature's cool to start the week for Southern Utah. We will heat right back up, but notice golf balls are in all week long because we are going to be dealing uh, with rather calm conditions. Fire dangers still exist, but Northern Utah, we are going to have a couple of uh, storms possible. Area low pressures passing by. Wouldn't cancel any golf plans. Just be mindful if you see those clouds building. That'll mainly be in the mountains. So really, every day this week, great day to get out and enjoy. Okay, thank you. That will do it for tonight. We'll see you again next Sunday night. Remember, it's always better to hit it long and straight rather than short and crooked. See you.